Hey everyone, it's Cassie from Elementor. Elementor 2.1 introduced many helpful new features and improvements. We already went over copy-paste. In this video, I'll show you even more cool stuff. Let's start with a set of video expansions we've added. Besides YouTube and Vimeo, you can now embed self-hosted and daily motion videos in the video widget. There are many advantages to using self-hosted videos. GDPR compliance, performance, no ads in the videos, better branding, and personalized experience, just to name a few. For supported platforms, you can now set a start and end point so only part of the video is played. This option is also available for background videos, making it super easy to loop the relevant part of the video. For YouTube videos, you can now select Modest Branding to hide the YouTube logo from the embedded video. Since Elementor first launched, we put great emphasis on providing the most flexible mobile design experience. Now you can change the breakpoint values, allowing you to customize the exact width for tablet and mobile displays. You can find this in the WordPress dashboard under Elementor, Settings, Style. If you're a developer, you're probably familiar with the command line interface for WordPress. WPCLI provides the interface for many actions you might perform in the WordPress admin. Now you can trigger Elementor tasks via command line. So these are just a few features new to Elementor 2.1, aimed to simplify your work. Share this video with your Elementor pals, so they can also benefit from all these goodies. And don't forget, subscribe to our YouTube channel for more updates.